Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Adam Welcome to Brooklyn Studios, and today we're going to be taking a look at set number 21318, the LEGO Ideas Treehouse. So jumping into the specifics of the set, it is of course a LEGO idea set, so it is designed by someone, a LEGO fan, and this fan has the username Kevin Treehouse. The set contains 3,036 pieces, 4 minifigures, and has a price per piece of 5.9 pence, in the United Kingdom, 6.6 .6 cents in the US, and in Europe, 6.4 cents. The retail price in the UK is £180, in the US, $200, and it's going to be one of those weird prices in Europe, €194.95. So, there are three uh, separate tape seals to cut on this box, which is quite standard for a box this size, nothing too different. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look at the contents. So as you saw, there is one of the white boxes included in the set. They always come with two tape seals on these larger sets, so let's take a look what's in it. So here is everything that's included in the set. There is 19 total numbered bags, and then there's a further 5 of each sort of the leaves. So there's these ones, the autumn sort of style leaves, and then there's sort of the spring, summer sort of leaves as well. Also a massive instruction book. So I'm really hyped to get this going, so I will cut back to you guys when I finish building because I mean doing a speed build on this would take absolutely forever and my table is way too small. So here's the treehouse all built and it's absolutely massive. It's so huge and I had to put my tripod quite a far amount backwards just to get it all in shot. But before we take a look at this absolute behemoth of a set We'll take a look at those lovely minifigures first. The first thing we're going to take a look at is I think it's the dad the, of the family of four in the set. Uh, there's no names included on the box, um, but this guy's quite nice. I think he's quite a basic figure. No leg printing, but on his torso it's got some sort of utility jacket, I think. On the back of it it just has some uh, uh, more lines of the shirt and stuff, and it's... Uh, Underlayer, I think that is the green there, which is yeah, it's kind of cool, quite nice, really quite nice print, very simplistic, really. Um, his face print is quite a one that's I think used quite a lot in City. It's got some stubble around his mouth and a little smirk on his face. And if we turn the headpiece around, you'll find there is no second face expression, which I think is quite odd. This is a hundred and eighty pound set, so you'd think they have some more detail on the minifigures, at least maybe some leg printing as well could have been a possibility um, but I suppose they are sort of unnamed characters so what can you really do also his headpiece is kind of nice, just more of the spiky stuff but overall just quite a nice figure, just very simplistic next up we have what I believe to be the mum of the family and again quite a simplistic minifigure just like the previous one the dad uh, no leg printing but the torso does look a bit more detailed it's got a very nice jacket uh, with some buttons on it and then an underlayer of some sort of is that a navy navy blue shirt sort of thing it's very nice um, it's quite cool I do like it a very nice one and on the back just got more lines of the jacket nothing special just like the other figure um, her face print is actually quite a nice one, I'm not sure if it's uh, exclusive or something, but it is a very nice face print. Um, you got some freckles there and a little smile on the face, it's very nice, and if we turn it around, there is a second face print on this one. Odd, well there's not one on the dad minifigure, um, but this face print is actually quite a cool one, you've got the winking and uh, the smile there is a very cool face expression, I do like it, very unique. Um, also her hair piece is commonly used I think for more male things but I suppose you can have a short hair it's kind of nice some add some diversity or something um but yeah I do like it especially that face print and that torso print so there are two kids included in the set uh, child minifigures uh, this is the boy and he looks actually quite nice again like the previous minifigure of the mother uh, the torso print is very nice low leg printing again I uh, do like the torso print sort of the red jacket uh, with the uh, ground LA shirt very nice on the back nothing special just a few lines of the shirt again first face print is um, some glasses very nice with a smile and turning around to the back there is nothing so the two male figures in the set have nothing 
on the back of their face, well no second face prints. Uh, his hair is quite nice, sort of a, quite a lot of hair going over his eyes, um, very nice. Uh, again, loving that tall sprint, and also I actually quite like that sort of glasses uh, face print as well. So the other child included in the set is the daughter, um, and I think it's quite nice to have a 50-50 gender equality, so two males, two females, very nice. Uh, this figure is actually very, very detailed. I'm feeling that the uh, dad minifigure is the uh, worst minifigure of the set. Her legs have no printing yet again, but her torso print has a very nice sort of tactical vest on, something below the zips, pockets, um, things to put in and stuff are very cool. And then she's got the uh, sort of nice cyan blue underlay, you can tell by the arms. It's very cool. On the back, it's just got a very big pocket there. Very nice. And you can see by a hair hat combo, you've got that piece. Very nice. Uh, I do like that. And I might have to take it off just to have a look more at the face print. Um, but she's got a very nice sort of two freckles, just like sort of on the mother's face print as well. Two freckles and a little smile. And on the back, there is nothing. So it's quite odd to see only one of the figures in the set has. Um, a second face print. It's very odd. I would expect there to be all of it, um, not, not all of it, on all of them at least. Uh, cause it is again a hundred and eighty pound set. You kind of expecting a little more because you're paying out quite a lot of money for it. Um, but again, quite a nice mini figure. Just wish to make this more detailed, but uh, as a face print. But that torso print is very cool. This set has some very nice torso prints in it. I've been loving every single one of them um, so far. So yeah, look at the minifigures. Now we can take a look at the actual treehouse. So here is the treehouse and it's looking absolutely awesome. I mean, it's it's absolutely massive. It's 3,000 pieces and it, it's just absolutely huge. Like, compared to my table, it is really big. It's really tall. Like, much taller than I was expecting, really. Um... And I just love it, it's absolutely awesome. We're going to take a look at all the details now. Um, so starting, we're going to start right down here at the bottom and work our way up to the canopy and um, change the lead on the canopy as well just to show you guys what it looks. So obviously, as I just said, we're going to start on the bottom. So let's start there immediately. Let me just zoom in right there. Uh, so I'm going to start, if we just spin it around quickly, I'm going to start with that uh, table. If you can see that right there, um, that table is quite cool. It's quite a nice little table design. You got some chairs, uh, three chairs specifically. Uh, there's a little money bag, which I thought was quite weird there. Uh, there's a plate, a glass, a bottle, a candle on the table as well. Uh, right next to it, um, there is um, a little pathway leading up to the stairs. Uh, turning it around a little more, there's some pumpkins. And then there's a quite a nicely built a little fireplace there, so those pieces that you use to make the actual uh, sort of triangle pyramid shape are actually the Harry Potter wand pieces, which I think is really really cool to do that. And then it's got a little cauldron there, um, the lake section, sort of a sort of river maybe uh, lake there, looking very nice. You can see there, use a lot of uh, uh, was it one by two uh, clear pieces. There you've also got some plant pieces, so this one's here, and then you've got some of the botanical ones made out of uh, sugarcane, you've got one there, one there. Uh, turn around even more, you've got some mushrooms right there, and then you've got this little swing, which you can see is already bobbing around, and if I take a minifigure, put his legs, and then stick him in the swing, he can have a swing and have some fun with it, which is kind of awesome. Uh, some also nice little details, there's some uh, sort of dark tan pieces used all around it in different places, uh, like here and here. Um, very, very nice. Um, just watching around more, some struts for the stairs, and then it brings us back um, to uh, the table. So I'm going to also take a look at the trunk now, um, which is right there. It's quite a nice thick trunk. Um, very nicely made, it's very, very actually fun, very detailed build, um, very, very cool, it kind of tested a lot of my, my brain power to actually build it, um, which doesn't normally happen with Lego sets, but yeah, it's quite a lot of trunk, um, you can see a lot of just some random pits just put on there to add more sort of agreeable details and stuff, there's some few uh, sort of sand green sort of colours on there, quite rare, just spotted throughout there, 
Uh, if you can see right at the top there, just a little log printed thing sticking out, which is uh, quite a nice little element. Um, just got more. There is another printed tile here, which does say build your dreams, and it says K.F. So that could be one of the characters included in the set. I'm not really sure, it doesn't specify on the box or anything. Um, but I really like the, how the trunk is made. Um, there's some really nice techniques used in it. Um, if I just take one of these things out, actually, you can take a look. So there's a lot of technique in there. Um, so like the main structure of the trunk is basically a 4x4, four four, um, and you build that up. And then with some of them on the corners, there are you use um, some pieces, the one by ones, but they have the things sticking out of them, so you can attach these technic things onto there, and then you just put it right here and here, and they stick onto it, um, and that's how they got the curve. With the ones that are sort of facing straight, obviously they just use normal bricks, because it's much easier, and then to connect them to the base, they use some, some of those plates, um, a lot of plates, one of those, it's a really, really weird piece, that, um, Oh, I can't really explain it, but it basically connects it to it, and you can also tell that because there's a gap between, um, a very small gap between the actual trunk and the uh, uh, base itself. Uh, but I really do like the way the trunk is made, it's very cool. Obviously it is the main thing that runs through the treehouse, it is a tree. Um, it's re really well built, uh, probably one of the best actual things I've actually built ever, um, really. It's very cool, and just putting that back on. There you go, it's back on. Um, so that's basically the base, right there. Uh, some very nice little details in there. Uh, very cool, a lot of little um, things going on. Um, I mentioned the path and the stairs there. Um, the stairs are actually quite awesome. Um, there's a very cool technique used here. Um, I'm going to try zoom in on it, actually. So I'm just going to zoom on that. There's a rod there, and then you connect the other stairs to it. And obviously that these stairs can move slightly. Um, so essentially, if you move my hand, um, you basically just clip them on. That's literally how you do it. Um, so there's a, a piece right there. I just turn it round like that. Ah, oh, it's really difficult. Um, to see that one there, it's one of those corner pieces, so, uh, really small corner pieces, one by ones, and then that sort of rests against it because there's a stud. Um, sorry for that camera, there's a stud, and it just puts on it. So it's really, really awesome, a fun little technique um, to do with that. Very nicely made, just very, very cool. And obviously, it leads up um, to the first of the three rooms which we're now going to check out. Uh, I'm going to switch the camera angle now because um, I've tried this uh, shot a few times now and it's very difficult to capture the shot of doing the room so yeah I'm just going to cut to it and uh, yeah let's take a look at the room. So before we take a look at the actual inside of uh, the first room which is this one here uh, we're going to take a quick look at the outside and just have a look at it, it's quite cool. There's some nice little details in there, some nice techniques. Um, so we just zoom in right there. Uh, you can immediately see a door, which obviously can be opened uh, like so. Uh, you'll also see a fair amount of the balconies, uh, sort of barricade pieces, used along uh, the side as well. Quite a fair amount of those, just to sort of block it. There's not really a balcony as such. I mean, if you get a minifigure um, and you plop it in, like it's very difficult to get them to probably stand up, kind of thing. Um, and it literally just fits a minifigure. It's so tight to actually get in. Um, kind of annoying, actually. Um, also, there's a lot of windows used around the side of it as well. A lot of them. And then. Uh, make sure the camera's in the right place. Uh, we get to one of my favourite techniques in the whole set. It's used twice, but it's awesome. So, um, do you see that circular window here? It is a very clever technique, um, where actually, where the arches um, meet, they're not connected by studs. On the inside, which I'll show in a moment, um, there's some rods in there that you do some uh, clips to and they clip in and it's absolutely awesome to make it it's so satisfying to see it go together and it's really really awesome um, so one of my favourite techniques 
it just looks awesome, adds the detail, um, so it's already got a lot of the sort of misshapen pieces, just random, uh, sort, of, it sort of reminds me of Greebles, uh, kind of thing like on the trunk as well, like there's just different pieces used to make it differently, um, and like just none of them are really the same, because here's a treehouse, like the wood's never going to be like exact, like a robot, you know, um, so yeah, the outside's very nice, but I'm going to take a look at the uh, inside now, um, and you actually do have to take off the canopy piece, so the main big canopy piece, which is obviously the lead at the top, is fully removable, like that, so you can take it off, all the leaves with all the many sugar cane pieces can just be put to the side for the moment, um, I'm just going to take off the roof and address a little nitpick of mine, um, so yeah, take it off the roof, and it's very, very simple to do. There is no clips here, there is just tiles here, and it's essentially just balancing on there. And I think that is really, really annoying. I'm probably going to mod it and put some 1x2 jumper plates on there instead. Um, and these roof pieces are actually really annoying. They use ball joints to connect all and everything, uh, which can be really frustrating when you actually want to like position the roof properly because you can move it or whatever. And then also, once you fold it in this sort of direction, you can kind of see the red there. It's even more prominent um, in real life, more than on camera. And to actually cover up the red stuff, you have to do it like that sort of thing. And the roof looks really stupid. And it's just kind of annoying, just fiddling around um, with the roof. It just can be really irritating sometimes. Um, but yeah, take a look at the outside. We can now jump in and take a look at the inside. Here is the inside of room one. You can immediately see quite a large bed um, there. You can also see a hairbrush on a dresser, a little mirror above that, uh, I believe that's a clock, a compass on the window there, a quill and a little shelf with a ship and a bottle, uh, another little cabinet with a flower, uh, some golden binoculars, and then a little letter right there. Um, also, if I just put my hand in, um, it's very difficult to actually get off, I um, just broke the little flower, um, but there is a little removable uh, thing. You can actually get off the bed, there we go, there's a little pair of scissors underneath there, now that was harder than it was to get off that bed, um, but yeah that's the main inside, it's not that bad, quite cosy really, um, quite a nice little room, I think it is the master bedroom for the parents, um, but yeah let's take a look at the next room. So room number two is there, and it's quite different to room number one. Uh, for starters, you've got quite a larger balcony up here with a telescope on it that can actually fit a minifigure on. Um, there is mostly just tiles, so if we grab one of the minifigures, um, just place it there, it will easily just fall down because it is just tiles. Um, but yeah, you can have them looking at the telescope, it looks quite nice. Um, it's got similar sort of greebles to the outside of the other one, and it uses the same uh, awesome technique um, used by the one, the circle one. There is less windows, I'm thinking. Also another door that opens, obviously. I see the figures falling over, so it's very easy to actually fall over. Um, yeah. Um, there's fewer windows definitely used there. It's all a nice little piece um, there. Uh, yeah, pretty similar to the one. And there's also some few other more branches scattered around the outside. Uh, taking off the roof again. This one is slightly different. Um, because if you look at it... Zoom out, zoom out, sorry. Um... This one has sort of a, one of these pieces used, sort of a hangover piece, whereas this one there's nothing, um, because it just literally, literally just touches there. Um, it's kind of a bit weird, um, but yes, yeah, the same sort of roof piece, nothing, nothing special uh, about it. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at the inside of it. On the insides of room two, there's two uh, main bunk beds, which actually use quite a nice technique. Um, they use one of these jumper plates there connect the beds together which is quite nice there's a microscope used there with a little plant there's a metal not a metal cup um a glass cup and that book is supposed to be in that little holder there but it keeps falling out because it's loose um there's a jar there there's a little bird box it kind of looks like um not particularly sure though sort of a clock maybe um but yeah not too much in the room they can't really fit too much in it obviously you've got the door here with the balcony um yeah, also, it also leads out um, to uh, the other thing with the little bridge here, which is why I think the door possibly should have been uh, right here instead of there. 
um, might have been a bit nicer. Also, the, just look at the bridge quickly. The bridge is quite movable, quite flexible. Uh, you can move it. Um, but yeah, that's room two. Let's go on and take a look at our final room. The third and final room of the treehouse is, a, again, not much different, but slightly. I suppose, again, you've got the little balcony things. Um, you've got much more windows than the other ones, and they haven't got um, the amazing technique of this circle thing here. They've only got um, just normal windows, quite a lot of them. Um, there's also a little winch here, which is uh, where the little basket of fruit that um, has broken off is supposed to go. Um, but you can just twist this Technic knob and it uh, lowers or raises the string that goes here. It's quite nice. And you can put a minifig actually on there. There is enough space. Um, there's a jumper plate as well. You can sort of have the legs hanging off there. But it is possible to do that, which is very nice. Um, you got to like that. Um, but again, it's, this is more the basic room on the outside. Really, it's not exciting like the other ones, um, particularly. And uh, again, it's got the exact same roof design, the ball joints, and everything. Uh, just that this one's the green colour. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at the insides. The insides of this room literally have to be my favourite. It's just kind of cool. There's a little shower there with a little head. Um, a little tap there as well, running water. There's a little toilet there as well. There's a sink. Um, there's a hairbrush with a little cabinet there. Some more uh, um, sort of capsules there. There's even toilet roll right there. It's just kind of cool. It's really awesome. Uh, they've got the two bedrooms here, and they've got the little toilet here, obviously connected by the bridge. We'll just take a look at. Uh, and there's a tiny little gap between these two. Um, but yeah, this is quite an awesome room. It is my favourite, I think. Uh, closely followed by this one. Um, but yeah, that will conclude a look at the three rooms. Uh, now, let's take a look at that canopy before changing it um, to the autumn colours. So there is the huge canopy piece itself. It's very massive, uh, full of loads of leaves. Uh, it's actually quite poseable. All the things are connected by uh, the movable joints that move. They're movable at two points, so one right at the base, and then one also on the other side as well. Uh, the large ones are also movable. Um, just, I don't necessarily do them very just move them up and down um, yeah it's a lot of leaves on there it looks very tedious to change them over um, but obviously I am going to change them over for you guys uh, cause that's just how it looks and I also want to have them as the autumn ones um, but yeah so looking at like the sort of spring has summer version let's take a look at it with the autumn leaves on so here are all the autumn leaves on the canopy and they actually look quite sweet really uh, I do love the colours, actually probably more um, than I like the green ones. Um, and it looks really awesome, I really love it. It, yeah, it's really cool. It's probably it's exactly the same as um, the uh, green one in that sort of layout. So these lighter coloured ones replace the light green, and so uh, the same with um, those as well. And the green things that uh, attach them are turns into yellow things, which are kind of cool. Um, there's also some on the rest of the tree, obviously you've seen the green ones before when we were looking at it. Um, I'll show you the tree in a moment. Um, just admire this for a moment, it's very, very nice I think. Um, just very nice colours, really cool. Um, definitely excited to have them on display actually, um, as it is more autumn so now. And I actually can't wait to get um, some... Uh, where are they? Um, Got some white studs in this bag from the Lego shop um, when I went. If I can find them, here we go. Got some white studs in this little bag here, and uh, I'll probably use some cheese slopes as well um, to just put some of this snow effect on them. So lift them all around there. I think it would look really, really cool. One of the Lego employees suggested that, um, and they said it really cool. Also, I'm probably going to put some Christmas lights in it um, when it reaches. Uh, Christmas, I think it will look quite cool with a little Christmas tree in my room and then this tree house looking absolutely awesome with the lights on it. Um, yeah, very cool. Um, but yes, we look to the canopy now. We can now take a look at the tree house with the full autumn canopy on. Here is the tree house, fully uh, with all the canopy. You've got some of the other leaves on the uh, main thing as well, just littered around it um, with the uh, autumn leaves on as well. Looking very, very nice. Um, one thing I wasn't sure about was these things down here because these guys will probably just not be around in autumn. You know, they wouldn't be around probably. Um, 
uh, I don't know whether to put some of the leaves on like some of these leaf pieces on the floor it's like like leaf falling off I don't really know um, but otherwise the tree has looked absolutely phenomenal with the other leaves um, littered uh, around it with all the other things uh, with it very cool just messed that up right there um, yeah I'm really really happy with it it's absolutely gorgeous um, but yeah that's going to conclude the review uh, totally looked at absolutely everything in the set uh, changed over the leaves um, so yeah I really guys um, not really guys I hope you guys really enjoyed the video it's uh, been quite a long one obviously because I do quite big reviews on uh, large sets um, so I hope you stayed the whole way um, if you did, um, it'd be quite nice to see if you, any of you guys did make it to the end. Uh, please just comment uh, Treehouse in the comment section below. Uh, I'll make sure they're turned on, don't worry. Um, but otherwise than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.